had to pause what I was doing because look what came in the mail. I don't know why I acted so surprised because they literally said it would be delivered on Wednesday. But, oh my gosh, you should have seen what I was wearing before. <laughs> Makeup wise, uh, if my base doesn't look great, I was filming some TikToks and a video that had me layering a bunch of product and my eyeshadow was bright blue, so my eyes are stained a little bit. Just ignore that because let's get to the greater topic here. My Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes eyeshadow palette just came in and I've had so many questions about it. I myself have had questions about it. I filmed a whole shopper drop just wanting to talk about it because I was so excited and intrigued because this is the first palette that Makeup by Mario has launched for his brand in over two years. He says this has been a long-awaited process. His old palettes from two years ago still selling out like they're still out of stock that's how popular they are that matte one super duper viral so i just know that there is gonna be a lot of curiosity around this palette so i wanted to give you the ins and outs in my first impressions for what i can so i did order this off of sephora make sure you get it now if you have a sephora account and have the ability because you can get it on the discount so i got it for 20 percent off which is great because this palette is pretty expensive it is 68 dollars and when i was getting your guys's opinion on this palette that was a big turn off to you so i'm gonna tell you whether or not it's worth it or not for it being a neutral palette you know it has to have a pretty special formula so we're gonna see about that so this is a limited edition and as of now at sephora it's an online only exclusive though i'm sure it will launch in stores pretty soon it is also on the makeup by mario website i got that free two-day shipping so here is the box that is going to come in let's get closer oh that's not closer so this is the box that is going to come in the typical palette and packaging that you'll see from makeup by mario You'll see Ethereal Eyes eyeshadow palette. It has a 12-month shelf life, is made in the USA, assembled in the Dominican Republic. I don't know if you need to see the ingredients, but in case you do, here they are. That's what we got here. So let's talk about the packaging of the palette. I have to say, it does feel more luxe than the old packaging. So for one, it's not the plastic shiny material. It's kind of like a matte feel to it, which I think makes it feel more luxury. It's not just a plastic. And then here's the back with the names, which we don't play with names. Makeup by Mario, I like that, honestly. I don't know if you can see the difference on camera, but you can see this is like a shiny plastic and this is not. This definitely feels more luxe, which I'm happy about given the price. It feels a little heavier, feels more heavy duty, very good. It is a magnetic opening. You do have a mirror. I'm just going to leave this on for now so you don't get blinded. And here is the palette itself. It is a 12 pan eyeshadow palette with translucent shades in suede matte, natural metallic, and glossy shimmer finishes. I don't know why it says translucent shades, but that's what it said online. I wouldn't exactly call these translucent, but it's a neutral palette <laughs> with those three different formulas. And the glossy shimmer finishes are new, so we're going to talk about that. Now you guys know Mario loves the neutral shades, so this one I feel like could have had more depth, but we're going to swatch it to see. So I'm turning the lighting down so that you can see the true colors of the palette. I will have a comparison section, just stay tuned till the end for that, but let's just enjoy this palette for what it is we're gonna start off with these three matte shades right here i'm sorry nail polish does not last long on my finger okay so this feels quite creamy honestly okay now i did not press too hard because they have this they have a softer feel which you could see by that little flake falling onto my black pants Okay, it feels very smooth, like there's no drag at all. I feel like this is an improved formula. I really do. Okay, let's get into what we really want to know about, which are these three shades. If you saw in his very filtered promo photos, they had like fake glitter specks sparkling out of them. I will say, you do see actual glitters in here. They aren't quite sparkling like they did in his promo pictures, but they have a very soft feel to them. And they also are quite slick to the touch. Like I'm getting very little kickback. 
And that's what they look like. Very pretty. I don't know, what does this formula remind me of? So you can see this first one doesn't have a very strong base to it, but it still is quite glimmery. So this one's more of a topper. This one right here, same deal, a little deeper. These are intended to give more of a wet look on the eyelid. Then here is a gold shade, again, more sheer. It's a look, it's gonna give a more elegant feel. Okay, let's get into this next row here. That's what they look like on the finger. Oof, that's really pretty. This one isn't that wet look. This is more of a metallic shade, but still very beautiful. It has less glitters, but it still is quite reflective though. And then this last row is the row, hopefully to give us some depth. I believe this is just gonna be more of a true metallic shade. I mean, these mattes are swatching quite exquisite. Oh my gosh, yes. I really do feel like this is an improved matte formulation. They feel extra creamy, but here is the palette. I love how neutral it is. It's not too warm and it's right in my alley. Boring, yes, but I am boring. <sighs> okay, let's get these on the eyes. I already know what formula I want to compare these to, so I can't wait for the comparison section as well. Okay, so I opted for a very simple look. There's gonna be a lot of unnecessary layering in this tutorial just so I could get a feel for the palette and the quality, you'll see what I mean. But the mattes in this palette are definitely a different formulation now. I'm pretty sure it's not just because my old palette is old. Maybe that's the case, but in the first Master Mattes palette, this palette's mattes are much harder pressed, a little bit more dry. Whereas with the mattes in this new palette, you get a lot more kickback. They're so much more soft. So I'm gonna take a Sigma Dream Detailed Blending Brush and I'm gonna go into this cream shade. It's like a vanilla, which I'm so happy about. You get a ton of kickback, as you can see. So yeah, a different formulation and you'll see how it applies but i'm just setting this under the brow this will be really pretty to kind of set all over the lid with whatever's left on my brush or my creases i'm just kind of blending over that crease let me turn the lights down a little bit bk beauty 201 and i'm gonna start off with this peach shade right here hopefully you can see the kickback of that making a mess and I'm applying this to the inner half of my crease. So this I wish pulled a little bit deeper because this is a good transition shade for me, but with somebody that has a medium complexion, this is like literally your skin tone, you know what I mean? Which is fine, but there's not that many options. I guess there is. This one though will be your skin tone if you have a medium complexion. And then I'm gonna hop on over into the shade below, which is a pinky undertone. And the reason that I'm doing this is for testing purposes. Um, I just wanted to see if these look different from one another. And I feel like they're a little bit similar. How I felt in the other eye is I wish they had just like a wee bit more pigmentation. You know how sometimes with these shades they can pull a little deeper on the eyelid? Uh, these didn't but it's fine, but I do feel as though these two shades kind of look a little similar. I do see the undertone differences, but it's because I'm looking for it. If there's one thing I don't like in a smaller palette or a palette with less shades, it's redundancies. So I like to make sure the colors don't look too similar. These look a little too similar for my liking, but we'll keep it pushing. I'm gonna go in with a Luxie 229 brush and I'm gonna go into this shade down here. And I wanted to see what this one did. So it added more warmth to the look. Again, for some reason, I just was expecting a little bit more depth from the shade, but 
it does look exactly in the pan how it does on the eyelids. That actually is a good thing. These shades have a very smooth blend to them. I'll tell you that. They feel smooth to the touch when you swatch it and you can actually feel that smoothness with the brushes applying to the eyelid. So the Master Mattes palette, I wasn't moved by that matte formulation. I would have rather had gone for a Viseart formulation. When it comes to these mattes, I don't feel that way. Like I really like this matte formulation. I find it very easy to blend and work out. I'm going into that original BK Beauty brush softening the edges. It's a very easy to work with formula. We're gonna go into the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A502 brush. And again, unnecessary layering, but I'm doing it to see if these shades differ. So this one, I don't know if you can see, I feel like these are similar. This one just has a little bit less warmth. And this one looks a little deeper in the pan. It does not have too much of a difference on the eyelid. There is a little bit. It's not not there, but I was expecting a little bit more, but it's still, look how soft that is and blending out so pretty. These shades are kind of blending themselves, if I'm being honest, which is really, really nice. Okay, last one. Sticking with this brush, I'm wiping it off though. We're gonna go into the deepest shade. Now this shade to me was one of the most important because I think this palette needs more depth. And it actually gave pretty good depth. I'm not mad about it. I think we could have had, like instead of these two shades, had one shade right here that was like a little bit darker, like in between a brown and a black, because that way that would be cool for some smoky eyeliner. But whatever, I mean, this is still pretty nice. It's still giving some depth. I'm not mad at it. I'm gonna go in with this small brush from Esum. This is a V31. It's just a pencil brush. We're going into that matte shade and I'm just getting a smoky lower lash line with this. And then take that first brush that we used. I always like to have a big blending brush and blend it out. So soft and beautiful. I'm gonna stick with this pencil brush and I'm going into the shade right here, which is more of a shimmer shade. It's a dark shade which is going to be beautiful all over the lid for a smoky eye but for today I'm just going to put this along the lower lash line as well to add a little bit of reflect. Very very pretty. I am getting a little bit of fallout. I don't know if you can tell and I was tapping off my brush so this formula is pretty pretty soft. There's some fallout but this shade's really pretty. I like that. It added some dimension on the lower lash line, and it would be so beautiful for a smoky eye. Okay, let's get into what we all wanted to see, the shimmer shades. So I'm actually going to start off with this one. And this one isn't as transparent as these guys right here. So take a look. It is very reflective on the eyelid. It's stunning, I, but I'm gonna keep it in a smaller area for now so you can see, because I have a small eyelid. But how pretty is that? This one is definitely going to apply best with a finger, that's how I recommend it, but this is gonna look stunning all over the lid. And this right here is my kind of color story. But I want to play with these shades because these are the new like wet looking shadows. I'm using these two because I wanna see if they look different from one another. So I'm gonna start off with what is the deeper one and I'm going to put it right here. Again, keeping it in a small area. It is a little bit transparent, but I feel like the shimmers here are more refined than the first shimmer shade that we used. Do you guys see that? This one has like more bigger reflex, whereas this one, they're really, really small, which is something I don't see often in mid-range product. This kind of shimmer is in more luxury products, so I'm really happy to see that. That's gorgeous. Now, a concern of mine was if these were going to look too similar, since they do have that transparent base. I don't know what finger to use, so I'm going to go into the lighter one and tell me if you can see the difference. This one is a little bit more gold, and this one has a little bit more neutral. Redundant? Maybe slightly, but I think this formula is so pretty. I don't really mind. Do you see the difference between the more gold and then the more silvery one? So this one's a more gold one, this one's a more silvery one. I see it, so I'm happy. I'm not mad about that. And I think 
that this formula would be really beautiful over a matte shade to add extra glimmer. It will give you a background as well. And I also think they are pretty on their own. It's not a lid topper shade that needs something underneath, which I really appreciate. I like that these, while they can be lid toppers, they also can hold their own on pretty bare skin because of how much reflect is packed on there. And it is really, really gorgeous. So I'm gonna kinda even them out a little bit and put more of the translucent shimmer shade here. And then this shade, don't sleep on this one. This one is so stunning as well. Then we're gonna blend this. So while there is kickback with this shade, it's not crazy. I don't know, hopefully you can see, but there is some which is not amazing. So if you really don't like that, do your face makeup after. I'm not bothered. We can have a little bit of glitter on the face. I'm gonna finish this makeup look and I'll talk about my thoughts on this and then some comparisons as well. So with liner and lashes, here is the look. I went with a dark brown eyeliner from Hourglass and then of course some mascara and falsies. Looks incredible. This look is right up my alley. I love these tones. It's pretty simple, but honestly, taking a look at this palette, I think every look that you get is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be neutral. There's no way to get around not having a neutral look with this palette. Uh, before I get into my final thoughts, I wanted to break into some comparisons. Because this is a neutral palette, I know a lot of you are like, I need to see what I have in my collection that is similar. So immediately what I thought about was the Tom Ford Metal Lust Palette. So this came out last year. It was limited edition and it sold out and it was one of my all time favorites. So let me show you. So here they are side by side and I couldn't help but notice, I just felt like the formula of the shimmers in the Tom Ford had some similarities to the makeup by Mario. And I swatched four shades that were similar. So this is the Makeup by Mario and this is the Tom Ford Metal Lust. So they aren't dupes really at all, but you can see how similar the shimmers look. I would say the Makeup by Mario might be even a little prettier with more gleam, but the Tom Ford has a little bit more base color. Overall though, if you missed out on Metal Lust, you can definitely get the look with the Mario. So that is very, very exciting and the Tom Ford was $90. So this is a pretty close dupe. Not fully, but you can definitely get the same look. I also felt there were some similarities between the Natasha Denona Light Glam Face Palette and the Makeup by Mario. Obviously a different number of shades. The Natasha Denona has face colors. But look at this. So this is Natasha Denona and this right here is Makeup by Mario. So you can see the shimmers completely different. However, there's pretty much a dupe for all three of the matte shades in the Natasha Glam Light face palette. So if you're looking to not purchase the Makeup by Mario, maybe, right? Close, definitely relatives, that's for certain. Here's another close one. This is the M Cosmetics Divine Skies Eyeshadow Palette in Rodin. Look at this. I'm finding good matches, you guys. Makeup by Mario. This is the M Cosmetics. So the shimmers are what's going to make the Makeup by Mario stand out, uh, especially these two shimmery ones from the Makeup by Mario. They're just more glittery, but color-wise, pretty close. Okay, getting to it. I also thought, I don't know why it's so sunny, hold on. I also thought going coconuts, right? Yeah, look, look, look. You guys suggested this one, you're so smart. So the bottom is going coconuts by ColourPop. The top is what I could find by Mario. Now the mattes in the makeup by Mario are super dupable in every single palette. The shimmers are a little bit unique from the makeup by Mario, just of how they will gleam on the eyelid but color wise look at that no i didn't have a shimmery white in the makeup by mario that the color pop has but once again okay so i found pretty much a dupe look at this if you do not want to spend 68 dollars on 12 shades you need to get the color pop bare necessities palette look at this and you get so much more colors but wait I have an alternative for all 12 shades of the Makeup by Mario in the ColourPop Bare Minerals. So this is Makeup by Mario up top. 
ColourPop Bare Minerals at the bottom. Obviously, you can see, especially right here, what you're paying for with the makeup by Mario. It's that unique shimmer and shine and glimmer. But color-wise, I have a dupe for you guys. I'm really proud of this. And then I have a couple other palettes that I want you to look at. As far as super close to dupes, those were all I had. But comparison-wise from what I got asked, this is the Ethereal Eyes versus the Master Mattes by Makeup by Mario. You can see the Master Mattes is much more warm. And also, I feel like the formula is different. This is a harder press. Here is the Master Metallics palette. So you can see the difference in formulations here just by the look. They are totally different. And the Makeup by Mario and ABH collaboration, you can definitely tell they came from the same mind, but they are very different from one another. This one is much deeper, more warm, more fall-like, whereas this one's a little brighter. And then last one is the Natasha Denona Glam versus the Makeup by Mario. I felt like these were different from one another. Even the mattes were very different, so yeah. All right, you guys, so here are my final thoughts on this palette. It is a $68 palette. Do I think it's worth it? Now, if you have any of the palettes that I mentioned, particularly the ColourPop Bare Necessities, I don't think you need this palette. However, I think the formulation on this is very, very, very nice. I was able to get it for 20% off and for that, I definitely think that it was worth it. If you don't have a large neutral collection, I would say this is nice to have. I think Mario definitely improved his formulation. He's made his formulation much more luxurious, though that did come with the price change because of that as well. But this to me does feel like a luxury palette. Color story wise, since we've proven that it's not as unique, Unique. It is not a must-have for those of you that do have a large neutral collection, but I think Mario does have a special formula going on here with the shimmers that makes it more worthwhile. So overall, I am really, really happy with this palette. I think the formula is great. I love this way more than his other palettes, and I think the color story is absolutely gorgeous. If I had to change anything, I wish we had some deeper shades in here as well to add a little bit more versatility to the palette. I'd love to use a black brown as an eyeliner from this palette, but I just feel like there's a large number of mid-tone shades, and I'd love to see that broken up with a couple deeper shades. But overall, a great palette, a very positive review. I'm really happy with this palette and I definitely can see myself using this a lot more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Make sure you like this video and comment down with any questions and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.